Hi, this is Mike from PM ProLearn. Today I'd like to give you a quick overview of what you need to do to take your online test for PMP or PMI through Pearson View. Uh, recently they've uh, authorized PMP to be taken uh, through a proctored online exam and that is done through Pearson View's OnView system. Okay? Uh, this becomes effective on 14 uh, April uh, 2020. So the first thing you need to know is the address for where you're going to go to start scheduling your exam and to test your computer system, make sure it's capable of doing it, and then finally to actually take the test. This is done at home.pearsonview.com forward slash PMI forward slash on view. Once you get there, you're going to see the website that looks just like this. And you're going to see three basic steps. You're going to see run system test, schedule exam, and begin exam. So it's a very good idea to go ahead and run the systems test one time so you can understand the process that's going to, you're going to go through during the exam day. What this is going to have you do is it's going to have you download a little application. And when you download that application, it's going to open up and it's going to run a systems test on your webcam, on your microphone, and on the ability to lock out your screen. So if you have like dual monitors or something like that, you need to make sure that you have that disabled on your computer. Uh, it might be advised to go ahead and use a laptop for the exam just because then you can sort of move things around. You can show anything that the proctor uh, may have concerns with where versus a desktop, uh, you're not able to necessarily move your webcam as easily, all right? So once you do that uh, and, you, and you run your system test, the next thing it's gonna ask you to do is put in your phone number. Uh, the reason they want you to put in a phone number is because they're gonna send you a link. Uh, this link is going to redirect you to a place where they're going to have you take pictures. So you're going to select front view, back view, right side, and left side of the room that you're taking. Uh, you're going to take all those four of those pictures using your uh, phone's camera. And then the next thing they're going to ask for is your driver's license or a passport or military ID, whichever one you choose to use. But they're going to want to see a copy of the front and the back of that uh, identification that you're using. Okay. Once everything's good, that's pretty much the procedure that they're going to have you run through uh, for the actual exam day. So that's a good dry run to make sure you understand how it works. Uh, from there, go ahead and go to step two. And step two is really about logging or setting your calendar up for when you're ready to take the exam. And the way you do that is you're going to go ahead and log in. And when you log in, you're going to see purchased online exams. So that's <clears throat> that's where you're going to actually select the test you want to take online. When I did mine, uh, I, if I didn't select a testing location or anything, uh, then it allows me to do online. So as long as your exam's been posted, it should show up here. All right. So as long as you've already paid for that exam, it should show up here. Uh, it'll say eligible exams to test. Mine, uh, I already took, so I wasn't able to uh, select it. But that's where it's going to let you go in, you'll select it, and then it's going to ask you uh, which date you would like to take it. It's going to have to be 24 hours beyond the current day you're in. So let day, day follow it. I found when I was trying to schedule my exam that uh, if you're in the morning time, then it'll only let you schedule the next day in the afternoon time. So it's a little over uh, 24 hours in reality, okay? So you'll schedule your test once you're happy with the scheduled date. You're going to get a confirmation email back from them saying this is when your exam is going to take place and it's going to have all the information you need to know it's going to tell you everything that needs to be available all right and then it's going to tell you to go to this link this link is the exact same link that we first started at so uh the pearson view dashboard now let me just go to it again i thought it was still there there we go and so it's the exact same website uh and then all you're going to do 30 minutes prior to the exam starts is you're going to log in and when you log in it's going to have you go through the exact same test procedures that you did earlier uh, when you ran your system test. It's going to have you go through all those, you're going to take your pictures and then you're going to be put in a waiting room. Uh, that waiting room is just there until the proctor comes online and says okay uh, I'd like to say ask if you're ready to take the exam is this the exam you're taking you confirm those things if you have glasses on you're gonna have to take those off and show that to the proctor and then finally they're gonna say are you ready to take the exam and when you say yes they're gonna say okay we're gonna start the exam now and once they start uh, your clock starts okay 
make sure that you're in an office or some kind of in place where you don't have any distractions. Uh, the things that can terminate an exam are any voices heard during the exam outside of your own, uh, even though you're not supposed to make any comments or anything while you're taking the exam because they're leaving all these microphones active on their desktop and they're proctoring multiple exams at once. So it's not just you taking it, but they don't want to hear voices from the background uh, that's not yours. They also don't want to uh, see anybody moving behind you. So if the webcam picks up somebody walking or by it or something like that, those are reasons why they could terminate the exam. Remember your PMP is a four hour exam and your ACP exam is a, a three hour exam. So with that, make sure you have your uh, area scheduled off for your house uh, for at least that time without distractions, okay? Again, I'm Mike Burgos from PM Pro Learn, uh, and let us know if you have any questions. Our support team's willing to help, and so am I. You can reach me under our contacts. Thank you.